bless you. God bless you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. God bless you. Welcome, Trini35. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hi, everyone. This is Kimberly Hargraves, and I am the founder of Rejoice Essential Magazines and also a Christian Arthur. How y'all doing today? God bless you. I'm excited about what God is doing. Let me make sure my volume's up. Perfect. Hallelujah. Man, I'm telling y'all guys, God has given me an awesome word, and I pray that this word today, good morning, hallelujah, encourage somebody in the Lord, God bless you, God bless you, welcome, welcome, I'm so excited, because God is moving, I feel his presence, my God, hallelujah, I have an awesome word for somebody, yes, so much has happened, my God, I just wanted to share a quick, uh, a few announcements with you guys, hallelujah, and then we're going to get into this awesome, amazing teaching, and we're going to decree and we're going to, to declare today. Amen. And I know God is going to do something miraculous in your life. So I'm excited. Thank you for the heart. Thank you for the love. My God, hallelujah. Good morning, Elizabeth. God bless you, honey. God bless you. Now, I'm just excited. But let me tell you something. God blew my mind yesterday. My mentor, Prophet Sean Morris. God bless you. God bless you, men of God. He has angel uh, manifestations in his ministry. So I said, God, I want that. But I said, God, if it's real, I want a black feather. So I have a feather. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see it or not. A black feather. Hallelujah. So I'm excited. God heard my prayer and God answered me. Hallelujah. So there's an open heaven. Hallelujah. So I'm excited. And I'm dressed up because I'm getting ready to do a broadcast. I'm getting ready to go to the studio in a minute. God bless you. But I have a couple of announcements before I get into this awesome word. We're going to decree. We're going to declare some things. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Open heaven. I'm telling you, the presence of the Lord is here. And I love to decree and I love to declare in his presence. My God. Hallelujah. We feel that shift. My God. So let me show you a few things. Hallelujah. So on Saturday... Please come out and support me. Go to eternallifetv.com or if you have Roco TV, come and support. It will be my first broadcast. Um, Warfare Strategies. The Holy Spirit has given me an awesome word. Awesome, awesome word. I'm telling you guys, your prayer life is going to go to another level. So please come out and support me on this journey. It will be every Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or also um, I live on Mountain Time. So it'll be, uh, I think, noon, my time. Hallelujah. Thank you for inviting followers. Now, this is what I want to show you guys. I want to show you guys this. Let me see. I can pull it up. I have a new book coming out. It's called Work Smarter, Not Harder, A Book of Declarations for the Workforce. So this is my brand new book. And it will be here the first week of April. So I'm excited. These prayers in this book come straight from heaven. My God glory to God so thank you so much for inviting followers I'm telling you guys hallelujah the reason why I, I know I went through hell on my jobs in the past is because the Holy Spirit needed me to write this book for somebody going through on their job hallelujah yeah girl I don't play Holy Spirit gave me 20 books I'm, I'm trying to get these things out hallelujah yeah so this is my new book it'll be out first week of April please come and support my God All right, so are y'all ready? Are y'all ready to get into this word? My God, hallelujah. Now, this word today is for somebody that feel like God ain't hearing you. You feel like you want to give up. You feel like nothing is happening. You feeling like, God, I need a breakthrough. God, I need a miracle, God. God, I need you to do something for me. Who is this word for today? Hallelujah. Are you feeling like this today? Hallelujah. It's all the way up. I don't know. It's all the way up, sis. I'll cut down the music. Can y'all hear me? Can everybody hear me okay? Can y'all hear me? Say yes, yes. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, let me put this down. My God, hallelujah. Okay, so I'm excited because I know God is going to move. Hallelujah. So I'm talking about the six benefits of delighting yourself in the Lord. There are six benefits benefits that i'm going to give you and i pray that your heart is ready to receive this word i pray that your mind is ready to receive my god so so get ready get ready get ready hallelujah 
Now we're going to talk about, yes, God is moving. I thank God for his presence. My God, hallelujah. So we're going to talk about the word delight. The word delight is a high degree of pleasure. It means joy, my God, or enjoyment. So when we begin to delight in God, take joy in him, take pleasure in him, I found six. There are six benefits of delighting yourself in the Lord. Hallelujah. Some of y'all, hallelujah. Y'all, yep, delight, hallelujah. Pleasure and enjoyment. Thank you so much. You're an awesome woman of God. Thank you, Kwanisha. I appreciate that. Hallelujah. I'm telling you. God is going to, I'm telling you, God is going to do something miraculous. I feel his fire all up and down my arm. My God, so I'm excited. Yes, tears of joy. So, benefit number one of delighting yourself in the Lord. God is going to give you the desires of your heart. Come on, somebody. God is going to give you the desires of your heart. Many of y'all got things on the altar. Y'all got things y'all praying for. I'm telling you, delight yourself in the Lord. He's going to give you the desires of your heart, somebody. Hallelujah. I don't care what it is. It, you know, it might seem impossible to you, but with God, all things are possible. Come on. With God, all things are possible. Hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah. You might be in a one-bedroom apartment. Maybe I'm prophesying to myself. Ha, huh, but God has promised you a house because that's one of your heart's desires. You may have a hoopty doopty vehicle, but let me tell you something. God has promised you a new vehicle. My God, hallelujah, because that is the desires of your heart. Your husband, your wife may be acting up, but let me tell you something. The desire of your heart is to have your wife and your husband saved and serving the Lord. Who am I talking to today? So when you delight yourself in God, God promised you to give you the desires of your heart. That's in Psalms 37 verse 4. Psalms 37 verse 4. It says, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Come on, somebody. My God. Hallelujah. Benefit number two. Are you ready for this? My God. God promises to bless you, to let you ride upon the high places. He wants you to ride upon the high places. What does that mean? Hallelujah. Well, first of all, God's going to give you favor and take you places where you're not even qualified to go. You don't got to have no degree. You just got to have favor. You don't got to have a lot of money. You just got to have favor. And God is going to set you up on those high places. God is going to promote some of y'all. God is going to elevate some of y'all. My God, yes, I'm telling you. God promised, num benefit number two, is to ride upon those high places. Come on, somebody. So what do you mean? Let me, let's go to the scripture. Isaiah 58, 14. Isaiah 58, 14. It says, my God, then we should delight, we should take that light in the Lord. My God, hallelujah. And he will make us ride on those heights of the earth. And he will feed you with the inheritance of Jacob, your father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. My God, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Let me tell you something. God is going to, my God, I'm going to be bold. I'm going to prophesy boldly today. My God, God is going to set you, hallelujah, with government officials. I don't know who that word is for. God is going to set you, hallelujah, and open up the door for somebody in politics. God is going to set you, my God, you will be able to prophesy to presidents, to kings. He's going to set you up in those high places. My God, he's going to give you favor with leadership. He's going to give you favor. Hallelujah. People are going to begin to look at you and they're going to see the, the glory of the Lord on your life. Why? Because you delighted yourself in the Lord. And God is saying, I can trust you. I can trust you, says God. I can trust you. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to give you an assignment on your life. I'm going to give you an assignment and I'm going to send you out. Hallelujah. Because I trust you. When I tell you to obey me, you will obey me, my son. You will obey me, my daughter. So I'm going to raise you up for such a time as this on those high places my god you may have been at rock bottom but let me tell you something god is getting ready to raise you up my god onto those high places because no one has seen the tears you cried at night no one has seen my god you seeking god and you fasting and darn and pushing back the plate no one has seen that but whatever you do in secret god is going to reward you openly let me say that in an another way whatever you do in secret god is going to reward you publicly Hallelujah. God is going to bless you so all the spectators can see. God is going to bless you so all your enemies will be shocked. My God. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Just get ready. I don't know who this is for. Keep on delighting yourself in the Lord. 
Don't you dare give up. Keep on, hallelujah. Keep on reading the word. Keep on pressing through. Keep on worshiping God. My God, keep on taking that pleasure, that joy, and uh, that in, in enjoyment in God. My God, hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Benefit number three, somebody, of delighting yourself in the Lord. My God, God is going to give you an abundant peace. Abundant peace. Many of y'all need peace right now. The enemy has been trying to do everything to get you discouraged. You feel like throwing in a towel. Who am I talking to? Yes, it's going to give you abundant peace. Come on, somebody. Some of y'all, your faith is shaking. You're wavering. It's like a, a ship being tossed to and fro on the, on the sea. Come on, somebody. You need peace. So right now, just receive while you're underneath this anointing. My God, just put your hands out and receive. God, I pray for peace to fall upon us. Shalom power. Now in Jesus' name, receive it. Receive it. Receive it in Jesus' name. And some of y'all feel the fire of the Holy Ghost. Some of y'all feel heat. Some of y'all feel tingling. Some of y'all feel electricity. That's just the Holy Spirit touching you. My God, I'm excited. My God, some of y'all haven't been happy in a long time. But let me tell you something. Let's let's step back. Let's regroup. Let's put on the mind of Christ today. Amen. You got to do it daily. And you got to make a conscious decision and say, God, I'm not going to let anything or anyone steal my peace. God, I'm not going to let anything or anyone steal my joy. My God, God, you said, if I delight myself in you, you're going to give me an abundance of peace. So let's go to the word. Psalms 37, 11. Psalms 37, 11. It says, but the meek shall inherit the land and delight, and delight themselves and delight themselves in abundance of peace In abundance of peace. Come on now. The meek shall inherit the land. Hallelujah. Be humble. My God. God gives grace to the humble. My God. But he opposes the proud. If you humble yourself before the Lord, he will exalt you. My God. He's going to bring you up to those high places at the proper time. God is getting ready. My God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you. A shift is here. My God. Something is breaking. My God. This is, I'm telling you. Some of y'all, maybe I'm prophesying to myself. Some of y'all. I felt like nothing was happening. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, heaven is open. My God, it's a wide open heaven. My God, and heaven is getting ready to come down and see about your situation. Heaven is getting ready to come down. God has not forgotten you. God has not forsaken you, somebody. So when you delight yourself in God, hallelujah, and seek God first, let me tell you something. The word says in Psalms 37, 11, the meek shall inherit the Lord and they will delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Come on, somebody. Peace is a promise. My God, there's a covenant of peace. Hallelujah. I wish I knew the scriptures on top of my head, but it's a covenant of peace and that peace is yours. My God, Jesus is the Prince of Peace. And I hear I'm here to prophesy today and tell you that the Prince of Peace is in, in, in your house. The Prince of Peace is in this building. The Prince of Peace is on this periscope. Everything you need from Jesus. He is here. My God. Hallelujah. That's right. That's right. Benefit number four, strength. Many of y'all just feel weary. You feel like you're about to die. You feel like you can't make it. You're asking God how long, when, God, you're going to come see about me. I'm here to tell you today, when you delight yourself in God, he's going to give you, my God, strength. My God, hallelujah. When was the last time you decided, you decide, okay, God, I'm just going to just rest myself. I'm just going to just lay in your presence. My God, every time I do that, God gives me a supernatural charge. He gives me strength to keep on going. He fills me back up. Hallelujah. Somebody say, God, fill me up, Lord God. Fill my cup, God, back up. In Jesus' name, you need God to fill you back up. My God, some of y'all so busy pouring out, pouring out, pouring out to others. But when have you taken the time out to let God pour back into you? My God, when have you took the time out to do something for yourself? 
Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. My God, hallelujah. It's time for you to rest in the presence of the Lord because God is going to give you strength when you delight in him. My God, my God, the word delight. Remember, let's recap. It means my God, it means joy. When you take joy in God, when you enjoy him, take enjoyment in him, my God, when you take pleasures in the Lord, God promises to give you strength. And many of y'all know this verse by heart, Nehemiah 8, 10, the joy, the joy. The delight, the delight, the pleasure, the pleasure. Nehemiah 8 10. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Somebody say, The joy of the Lord is our strength. My God. I remember I was going through one of the darkest, toughest places in my life. And matter of fact, I'm going to be transparent to help somebody. I was going to court. I got served some papers. I was going to court. May I, I I don't know about you, but I hate court. I hate going to court. So I said, God, I can't do this. But I meditated on Nehemiah 8.10 and it gave me strength. Because the joy of the Lord is my strength. And let me tell you, God was working in that courtroom, somebody. The case got delayed. My God, because God was working it out for me because I had the right scriptures in my mind. And I was meditating on that word. So don't you dare give up. Don't you dare give up, my God. Some of y'all just another uh, a day away from your breakthrough. You're just another praise dance away from your breakthrough. You better not give up. You better just say, God, I thank you that your joy is my strength. My God, when you start delighting in God, you're going to find some strength. You're going to find some strength to get up out that bed, to comb your hair down, to brush your teeth, to make you a good meal. My God, to dress like a million dollars. My God, you're going to find some strength strength somebody to keep pressing on you're going to find the strength hallelujah to to go to work you're going to find the strength to to take care of your business who am i talking to my god hallelujah so the next benefit is hope number five the next benefit of delighting yourself in the lord is hope some of y'all y'all feel like your situation is hopeless well, I'm here to prophesy today that it's not hopeless in Jesus name, God, and God send your spirit of hope now, hallelujah, to destroy every resistance, every bondage that's trying to keep us uh, held down in Jesus name, my God, Lord, God, send the breaker anointing, God, I, I, I decree and I declare a breakthrough in everyone's life on this scope and everyone's life underneath the sound of my voice in Jesus name, my God, your situation ain't hopeless because God says in this word, my God, when we delight himself in him my god he's going to give us hope he's going to give us hope some of y'all need hope right now some of y'all y'all just going through the motions some of y'all just like robots 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 i don't know who that word is for but let me tell you get ready because this thing is about to shift for you get ready my god because god is getting ready to work this thing out god has turned it i'm just speaking in your life right now just receive it god turned it god has turned some things he has turned some things around in jesus name so benefit number five is hope when we delight ourselves in god god promises to give us hope what do you mean? Well, let's go to the scripture. Let's go. Romans 15, 13. I love this scripture. Romans 15, 13. My God, made a God of hope. Made a God of hope. Fill you with all joy. With all joy. Did that word joy go? That means delight. Take pleasure. Enjoyment. My God. Made a God of all hope. Fill you with all jo joy and peace and believing. So by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. Come on, somebody. So by the power. Don't you know the Holy Spirit is powerful? Jesus Christ is powerful. God is more powerful than your situation in those mountains. He's going to fill you with hope, somebody. My God. This is a right now word for somebody. This is a right now word for somebody. You better get in this word today. You better watch the replay. You better write these scriptures down. You better pray it unto God. God tells us in this word to bring his promises, uh, bring his word back into remembrance to him. Amen. I had to do that myself. I said, God, I am not going to settle for this, God. God, this ain't your will, God, for me to live like this. You know, so I had to get in the word and I had to remind God of his promises. And then I began to see some stuff break. Who am I talking to today? So I challenge you today to get in this word, my God, and pray these promises over your life. Okay, benefit number six. Benefit number six. Direction. Direction. My God. Direction. My God. 
Hallelujah. When we delight ourselves in the Lord, he promises to give us direction. What do you mean? Well, let's go to the word. Psalm 1611. It talks about the path of life. The path of life is direction. Some of y'all, I see the valley of decision. I see like a fork in the road. And you're like, God, do I go to the right? Do I go to the left? I see like a map. You're looking like, God, where I go? Come on, somebody. My God, when you delight yourself in the Lord, God is going to give you direction. He's going to show you which path to take. He's going to show you which path to take. Come on now. It says, you have made known to me the paths of life. You know, in your presence is the fullness of of joy, a joy. Did that word go? Joy, delight, joy, pleasure. My God, depends on which ver uh, translation you're reading from. My God, show me, Lord God, the path of life. My God, the paths of life. Hallelujah. Direct our steps, Lord God. And God is going to give you joy because in His presence, it's joy. And at His right hand, His right hand are pleasures forevermore. Let me tell you something. As you get in your word, as you seek God, as you start delighting in Him, God is going to get, stretch out His hand, and He's going to have some things that's pleasurable for you. He's going to have some of your des your heart's desires in it. My God, God has a blessing. Come on, somebody, with your name on it. God has a blessing with your name on it. Hallelujah. If this word is blessing you today, heart me up. My God, give hearts unto Jesus today. My God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's recap. Let's recap. My God, matter of fact, before I recap, let me just uh, uh, go a little bit more on direction. My God, some of y'all people, my God. Y'all are seeking other people and things except for God himself. My God, hallelujah. So you're praying like, God, I need clarity. I need direction. Let me tell you something. Hallelujah. I come to prophesy to you today as you get in the word. This is for somebody. God is getting ready to highlight something to you. He's going to highlight something to you because your answer is in that book. Your answer is in the B-I-B-L-E, somebody. Your answer is in the word of God. Hallelujah. I don't know who that word is for. My God, but I see. My God, hallelujah. I'm prophesying. My God, hallelujah. Somebody's turning the page. My God. And you're going to, something's going to stand out. And it's going to be an answer for somebody that's seeking. My God, it's going to be an answer. Hallelujah. Maybe it's an answer for finances. Maybe it's an answer for marriage. Maybe it's an answer for a business. Get in that word, my God, and God is going to direct you because the word says the steps of a good man or woman are ordered by the Lord. And if we submit our plans to God, he's going to make our plans prosperous. He's going to make our plans be established. Hallelujah. Some of y'all got too many plans and, and nothing is working out. Well, I'm here to tell you today to submit yourself unto God. And he's going to establish you. He's going to establish your plans. Hallelujah. Some of y'all wrote the vision down. You wrote the vision down. And it's time, hallelujah, come on now, to make it plain, my God. It may seem like it's taking forever to come to pass. But I'm telling you, though it tarry, wait for it. Because it's going to surely come to pass. So let's recap. Number one, uh, first benefit of delighting yourself in the Lord is he's going to give you your heart's desires. Number two, he's going to promise, he promises to make you ride upon those high places. Benefit number three, my God, of delighting yourself in the Lord, he's going to give you an abundance of peace. Not just a little peace, an abundance of peace. That word abundance is overflow. You know, your cup is going to be running over with peace. Benefit number four, he's going to give you strength. Benefit number five. Of delighting yourself in the Lord, He is going to give you hope. Come on, somebody. Benefit number six, He's going to give you direction. He's going to give you direction. So I'm excited. I am excited. So I'm just going to pray right quickly. My God, Father God, I just pray right now, Jesus, Lord, that you can just touch our hearts, God, and our minds, God. Bless us to delight ourselves, God, in you, Lord God, so you can give us the desires of our heart, God, so you can cause us, God, to ride upon those high places. Here come promotion, somebody. Here comes elevation. God, I thank you, Lord God, for the abundance of peace right now. Peace, my God. I feel the presence of the Lord, my God. He's going to give you strength. God is going to give you strength. And God, I thank you, Lord God, for hope today, God. God, I thank you, God, for direction that you're directing our steps. God, your word is a limb to our feet and a light to our path. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, if you receive that word today, heart me up. 
heart me up my god who i'm excited because i know god is moving i want everybody to be in a state of expectancy because that expectancy breeds your miracle let me tell you something it's something when you expect god to answer these prayers and then that's when god is going to move i'm here to prophesy to you today that god is going to exceed your expectations god is going to exceed your expectations my god so i'm excited my god so let me just shift let me just shift hallelujah hallelujah please hallelujah Check me out Saturday. I don't know when the next time I'm going to do a uh, next scope, maybe be next week, but please check this show out. I'm telling you, your prayer life is going to go to another level. I'm excited. I'm excited about what God is doing. Also, hallelujah. I got a new book coming out. Work smarter, not harder. A book of declarations for the workforce. Please support the ministry. Hallelujah. If you would like to be a blessing to the ministry, go to my profile Click the website. You can sow it. You can uh, sow a seed if God leads you, or you can get the books. Every time you get a book, Hallelujah! It helps the ministry, so I can do what Holy Ghost wants me to do in this ministry. My God, Hallelujah! Please check out the free magazine, Rejoice Essential Magazine. Just go to the website, Hallelujah! Yeah, it's on Roco. It's on Roco. I don't know nothing about Roco, but you can go to EternalLifeTV.com. Um, EternalLifeTV.com at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and you'll be able to check that out. All right, amen. So click magazine when you go on my website and check out that magazine, Rejoice in Central Magazine. Y'all be blessed because God is moving, and I can't wait to hear the praise reports and testimonies. Amen. And also, if you have a prayer request, go to my website and send me, email me, hallelujah, at info at Kimberly hargraves.com or you just click the prayer request and it takes you straight to my email and i will email you back my god so i'm excited about what god is doing i'm getting ready to go to the studio and do a broadcast for the show god bless you i love you so much with the love of the lord god bless